Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. This one is crazy. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. This is a weird-ass story. It comes from MyJoyOnline.com and the headline here is Man Narrates How He Had a Baby with a Ghost. The source, it says, is Adomano Line. I have no idea what the hell that is. Maybe Adam Online, maybe. That's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It was published on the 16th of August, 2020. Buckle up. Because here we go. This one's nuts, I'm telling you. A South African man has narrated how he unknowingly had a baby with a female ghost he dated for four years. The Twitter user with the username at Pluto underscore GP underscore stated that he got to know about his partner's death after he visited her family to pay her bride price. I dated a girl for four years. She fell pregnant and gave birth to a healthy bouncing baby. Bear in mind, I've never met her family before, so we decided to take it to the next level. Pay damages first and la bola. She took me to her parents' place. When we got there, I introduced myself. It actually says I introduced, introduced myself. I don't know why it says it twice. Maybe it's a typo. Family started crying nonstop. I was very confused as to what was happening. Mo girl was seated next to me, not saying a word. Father then told me their child had passed away six years ago. They took me to her grave. At the tombstone was the jacket that I bought her. One she wore on our way to her parents, her favorite jacket. I needed a wheelchair right away. Went back home to our nanny we left the baby with. Our baby was still there as we left her. She's turning two next month, he recounted. And then it says, read his full account here. But when I go to click, there's nothing. There's nothing that it will allow me to click on. So I'm thinking maybe it means this, this Twitter link down here, this tweet. So let's click on this and see what happens. No, we can't click on this either. There we go. This will take us to Twitter and we will see if there's more to this story. I told you this is a very weird one. It's I think from Africa. It's like not from the uh, United States of America. So that's why the English is kind of broken and it's not written very well because I think that most likely this is not his first language. Okay, let's see. I dated a girl for four years. She fell pregnant. This is what we've already read. Introduced myself. Family started crying. Father told the child passed away. I needed a wheelchair. Okay, that's where we left off. Can't believe I had sex with a dead person for four years. Konje, why did I have to meet her parents? Wouldn't have known she was dead. Her woman on top was flames. It goes on, but wait a minute. He's saying here, he can't believe that he was having sex with a dead person and all that. But then he says, why did I have to meet her parents? If he wouldn't have met her parents, he wouldn't have known that she was dead. So he's cool with being with a dead chick as long as he doesn't know, I guess. The finding out is what messed it up for him. Okay, how do I explain the child when she grows up? Your mother died six years before you were born. 2020, finish me off, please. I can't. I don't, I, oh, that mean. I guess that means I can't. Sorry, I'm not up on all the, the lingo and, and stuff that goes on on Twitter and that the younger people use. I don't I have any idea what the hell these people are talking about half time. I still, but it should be still, have flashbacks of how her parents scrum, I guess that screamed, 
when I told them I was there to pay damages for her dead girl I just made pregnant. Well, I imagine they didn't take too kindly to that. Because they didn't know you're dating their dead daughter. They think that she's dead and buried. So when you show up saying you got their dead daughter pregnant and you want to pay damages, I'm pretty sure that would would kind of mess them up. All right, this is just tweets from people that are responding to this stuff. And now we're going further down in his Twitter feed and nothing else. So that is the entire story. So essentially, to sum this up, this dude was dating a dead chick for four years. Uh, according to him, having sex with this dead person. Uh, apparently, she wasn't dead to him. You know what I mean? It appeared to him like she was a normal live chick. And she ended up getting pregnant, and they actually had a baby. And he didn't find this out that she was dead until he went to meet the parents. That's the story here. I hear a couple problems. One, I'm not saying you cannot have sex with a, with a ghost, because believe it or not, there are in, accounts of that happening by some reputable people in the field, one of which is uh, Dan Aykroyd. Remember his famous scene from Ghostbusters where the, the female ghost comes and unzips his pants? He had something like that happen in real life as well. Um, but it was a, a male ghost and they cuddled. It's a, it's a fascinating story. I heard him talk about it when he was doing an interview on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Which, if you haven't heard Rogan's podcast, which I'm sure you have because everybody has. But if you haven't, check that thing out, man. I love it. There's so much interesting stuff on there. So, I'm not saying that that's not possible. But here's the thing. It's a ghost, right? It's not like a, a physical body. It's not a person. So, one, how did you get her pregnant? And two, how did a ghost give birth? Did she go to the hospital and give birth in a hospital? Or because this is Africa somewhere, was this done as a home birth or something i don't i mean when people think of africa they think of lions and tigers and the savannah but africa has cities and everything too it's not like it's it's all lion king you know i mean there's actual cities and stuff in africa and there's civilization and there's doctors and hospitals and everything so i don't understand this story at all it doesn't make any sense to me If you had sex with a ghost once, I could say, well, maybe that's true because you have the incubus, you have the succubus. Those are sexual demons that will come and, and have sex with human beings. There, There is lore that supports all that. But to have a four-year relationship and such an in-depth relationship that it was to the point where you didn't even know she was a dead person, that you thought she was a normal chick, and then to have, you know, a baby with this ghost... That, to me, is just seems a little unbelievable. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments what you think of this story. Do you think this is just complete BS? Or do you think that this actually happened? Those are two of the options. I think a third option is that it is actually BS, but this dude believes that it happened, in which case he's kind of a little cuckoo. That could be possible, too. Very interesting crazy I, I told you in the beginning this is a weird one i wasn't lying to you this one is incredibly weird and i scrolled down to the bottom because a lot of times on these here i'll show you a lot of times on these websites when you see a story that looks kind of crazy and you're like come on that can't be true what you do is when you go to the website you scroll all the way down to the bottom. This has a ton of links and ads and everything. Okay, all the way down here. Usually down here at the very bottom, right here where it says 2020 copyright, myjoinonline.com. Right down here, if this is not a serious site, okay, if this is like Babylon B, which is a complete BS site, down here at the bottom of the page will be a little disclaimer that says that this is a parody site and it's not, the information inside of it is not real. They, they have to do that because of legal reasons. Otherwise, they can be sued. So whenever you see a crazy story like that, always scroll to the bottom and look. Because nine times out of ten, you'll see right down here, it'll say that 
the story is BS, that it's a parody site and it's not intended to be taken as truth. But surprisingly, this one doesn't say that. And I mean, when you click on the news tab, right? Let's click on the news tab. Well, apparently nothing happens when you click on the news tab. This site is really janky. There we go. It's moving again. But see, here we... Okay, well, here we go. Now we're in the news. This is a weird site, man. Here's stuff about the pandemic, uh, the lockdown in Ghana. So this must be in Ghana somewhere. Yeah, I mean, here's actual legitimate news stories all through this. As you can see, they got crime stories, they got politics, student in court for allegedly inflicting of deep cutlass wounds, musician fined for stealing items. I mean, there's like regular news here. So this is an actual news site, which is absolutely crazy. And it had a headline like this, that the man had a baby with a ghost. Very weird. Like I said, usually when you see this, it's one of those BS sites, but this is a legitimate site. And I don't think the story is legitimate. That's where I'm coming down on this. My ruling on it is I just find it very hard to believe. Simply because it doesn't add up. If you go through the timeline, supposedly this guy had... I'm going to go ahead and close this down because... I don't know what kind of stories are going to pop up on this, and I don't want that. I'm sorry about the infinity screen here on OBS. I know that drives some people crazy. But, well, you know what we can do? We can go right here to the Staring into the Abyss page. What do you think about that? This is my desktop on my, on my actual computer, so that you know. But, anyway, if you look at the timeline of this thing, it's kind of crazy. Because, like I said earlier, four-year relationship, pregnant, baby, turns too soon. So this isn't even a newborn. This is a baby they've had for a while. So not only did she give birth to a baby, the baby survived the birth, and she's been taking care of this kid for a while. Now, this whole time, he never met the parents? That doesn't make any sense to me. How do you not meet the chick's parents when she's having a baby? Where are the parents? It just makes absolutely no sense. I don't think it's true. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you think this is a true story or if you think it's complete BS. I'll be really interested to see if anybody actually believes this. Or I would even be more interested if this turns out to be a real thing. And this did actually happen and there is an actual baby. And... This guy isn't just kind of crazy. That'll be kind of mind-blowing too, won't it? So anyway, let me know. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will catch you on the next episode. I have found some really crazy articles to share with you guys. And you're in for a lot of fun stuff. So I'll see you on the next one. Until I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.